all right guys today I'm scrapping this this is a DSL filter this you plug this your telephone goes in there you plug this into the wall or your jack or whatever and this device filters out your um, the DSL signal out of your phone line I've never scrapped one of these I've always wanted to know what was in this sucker so let's uh let's scrap it let's crack her open Look at that. A couple pieces of plastic. This is a uh, junk china board. It's only silk screen on one side, brown on the other. But um now these contacts are gold plated. But I don't waste my time with them. You know, they're a really pain in the butt to get out. And so aren't these contacts in here. Maybe I'll start trying to take them out someday, but for now I just leave them on the circuit board or on the wire. Now, I always the wire is worth more as number two insulated than it is a circuit board so you always want to try to cut it as close to the circuit board as possible and these little gizmos here I recognize these uh, let me try one of them look at that there's a jackpot of copper right there and uh, how about this guy look at that Another little jackpot. Oh, there's this one too. Huh. Look at that. He's got like, there's like a piece of metal on top, piece of metal on bottom. I don't know if that's a magnet or not, or a ferrite. But these guys are always loaded with copper. You recognize them because they got like heat shrink tubing on them. Oh, look at that. Pretty good score for a, just a little tiny piece of circuit board. So, we got a nice little lump of number two copper. We got some number two insulated for the number two insulated bucket. Some low grade china board. Oh, look at that. That's how awesome my uh, garage is. My bucket's got water in it. And some uh, number two copper. So just remember guys, scrap is everywhere. All you have to do is find it, sort it, and hoard it. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.